a man while he was sitting in a car in his grandmother's driveway. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid was in the courtroom this morning. It was about four o'clock in the morning on New Year's Eve day when IMPD officers found Anthony Macklin asleep and armed in a car in his grandmother's driveway. Three IMPD officers tried to awake Anthony Macklin inside the locked car, and when they perceived he raised the gun in his lap upon opening his eyes, they opened fire, dropping some three dozen shots into the vehicle. Macklin was hit three times. Officers Carl Chandler and Alexander Gregory are both charged with seven felony counts, the most serious of which carries a potential 16-year prison sentence upon conviction. They pleaded not guilty and were released on $3,000 cash bonds pending a December trial date. He was not shot while sleeping. He was wide awake. He was awake. He reached for a gun. He turned that gun in the direction of the officers. That's not someone that is shot while they're sleeping. There was many ways to wake someone up sleeping in their car and that was not one of them. Being in a, a small sleep like that, you hear banging, you, you immediately jump up, right? You, that's just like the normal thing. And um, I, I had no idea what that was. Control shots fired, start as a medic. The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that the benefit of the doubt resides with officers who may shoot if they perceive the potential for serious bodily injury. It's based on reasonableness. What would a reasonable officer do at that time? And we think these actions were reasonable. We can't just go around shooting people saying that we have a perception. That perception may just be because he's a black man in the wrong neighborhood and that's wrong. Macklin is suing IMPD and the officers in federal court claiming the department has a history of delaying job action versus officers involved in shootings and overwhelmingly finding that their actions are justified. You gotta ask how many more big settlements or jury verdicts is the city gonna pay before they put even a small amount of that money into better training and enforcing the policies on the books. Macklin says he's incurred about a million dollars in medical costs as a result of his injuries and his attorneys want even more compensation as he continues to recover from the shooting. On the north side, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News. Russ, thank you.